Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chan. Let's get into basketball wives. Let's go. So Evelyn and Jocelyn has gone over to Brooke's house. Brooke is getting ready to do an auction um, to raise money for her daughter who's passed away. And she's going to give like a scholarship, like a $5,000 scholarship to each kid. And she wants to make at least $20,000. So they're here to help her. She shows all the jerseys that she has to auction off. This is, it's really sweet, but it's a sad situation. So they asked her about Steven and dating. She said she's been dating. She said that her and Steven are hanging out. Uh, they're just going with the flow and they're doing what feels good to them. Um, I know Brooke knows that Steven was wrong for what he had done, but I think he is just comfortable for her right now, right? Plus, he's gone through this where he's lost a child as well. So she really can't see into the future without her daughter being there. So I get it. But Steven, you know, do the right thing. Uh, Jackie Christie is setting up to have a talk show. So look out for mine soon. <laughs> Jackie has brought on Brittany Renner to be her first guest on her pilot talk show, right? And she's asking her basically about what's going on with her and how she feels with the girls. So, Brittany says it's been very chaotic. And Brittany's not very happy with the situation she's in with the girls, right? Um, I don't get Brittany. Like, she's worn, like, exercise clothes the whole season. She is really going through something. I really don't think this is the place for her. I really don't. And I don't mean that in a mean way. I mean that in a comfortable way. This is not the group for her. Let me tell you something about Vanessa and Isaiah. Uh, Isaiah is there because he doesn't want to get a divorce and pay this woman no money because he don't care nothing about her, right? She wants to move to LA. He, it's a no for him. She's got this place. He's like their uh, brick walls. They have cement walls in their place in Arizona, right? There's The head space is not tall enough for him. So she also let us know that she's not wearing her rings because he cheated on her. So... She asked him about doing a vowel renewal. And if they renew their vows, then she'll feel like they're starting anew. She can wear a ring. He said, no, nah, we good. I don't have to do that. Are you with him to make sure he doesn't cheat? Or are you with him just in case he cheats, they'll know who you are? Like, why are you really with this man? Because this man don't care nothing about you, Vanessa. Vanessa, like, she knows when to not even give him pushback. It's all over her face. Like, she's devastated. Girl, it's, let him go, child. Let him go. Okay, so Jen and Christian has let us know that they are working on their YouTube situation, right? But she says she is trying to secure a place with a movie for Jennifer Williams' production company. Did we know that about Jen? Like, an actress? I don't think so. Then she was like, Christian, I want you to be there. He's like, uh, no doubt. You know, you don't have to ask. I'm sure he is trying to follow along to see what Jen got going on. Jen, you better be careful with this. I know you're engaged. Just be careful. Tread lightly. Now, baby, uh, this is the cutest thing that Jen and Christian got going on right here. I don't know what kind of dog this is. I am afraid of dogs, but I think I could start here. Let's keep going. It was so good to see the ladies rally around Brooke for this, for the foundation for Kayla, right? Jackie got some memorabilia. Uh, there were other things that was auctioned off. Steven was there. And like I said before, I think she leans in to Steven. And I think this is a comfortable place for her because they have that in common of losing a child. And right now, Brooke is so delicate, so sensitive that... Steven really needs to tap in and be there for her. And I think he's doing that. I hope he's on the right path, but I'm just glad he's there for her. I know Brooke said she didn't know if she could do this if she didn't get the money that she was hoping to get. But she raised $21,450, right? And the recipients for the money was there. So I'm really glad that this uh, worked out for her. And I really hope she gets the piece she needs at some point. So Vanessa is here with Jackie and she is showing her the new space that she found since Isaiah didn't like the other one. So Jackie asks, has she spoken with Isaiah? She said, no, he's on a 30 day suspension. I'm not talking to him. So she tells Jackie why, because, you know, he's a coach for their kids basketball and 
the ref had given Isaiah a tech. And then Isaiah was doing something and the ref gave him a double tech, which ended up in giving the opponents her baby's team trophy. Vanessa is pissed about that. And also pissed about the fact he doesn't want to renew his vows. And I don't think a 30-day suspension is what your husband needs, Vanessa. I think you really need to focus on yourself. Oh, my goodness. So, Jennifer, Jocelyn, and Brooke are at the nail shop. And they're going over the foundation and all that. So, they talk about Steven and where he is. Because Jen was like, Christian said, I don't know what to call him. Is he her husband? Is What is he? So, Brooke tells them that she has one more paper to file in order for them to be divorced. This whole time, I thought they were divorced. But she said it came, It was during the time that Kayla had passed away. I get that. But don't let us go through a whole season thinking y'all divorced. And I don't even think he knows. Steven has no idea if he has a wife or an ex-wife. But I do agree with Jen. Like, don't let the situation with your baby cloud your judgment about this man who has cheated on you. I get he makes you comfortable, but let's just keep, let's not forget. Let's keep going. Child, I don't know whose rented car this is, but Jen and Krista are on their way to a meeting for Jennifer Williams Production Company and the movie that she wants to star in. So long story short, I think this dude right here is like her lawyer or her counsel or whatever. And these dudes right here are investors and writers for whatever the movie it is. So Jen got it. Because she said, before I do anything, let's see if the check cleared. So he checks his phone. He said, check's cleared. Now, I'm going to tell you honestly, I don't believe anything in this scene. So I'm just going to say, congratulations, Jen. Um, I love this. Evelyn was with her son. Uh, she's talking about LaVon. Even though they're not together, he is making sure that her business grows. I understand that Evelyn is scared. But there's not been another man that she's been involved that would even care about her to the point where you're not with me, so but I'm going to still help you. But we just take it slow. And her son was so sweet. Like, he's gotten so big. Like, I cannot believe how big this child is. These children just growing up right before our eyes. Y'all, Vanessa needs a lot of work. She needs a lot of support. Um, so Ruben, the dude that was helping her get the space, he called and said that she won't be able to get the space. So she is really devastated, right? Her husband is not leaving Arizona. And pretty much he told her that I can be in Arizona and you can be in California if that's how you want it to be. Because what's really up with a 30 day, you don't talk to your husband for 30 days. How crazy is that? Did she put him, him on the 30 day or did he put her on the 30 day? Because y'all already living apart. It's something to that. Oh my goodness, Brittany and Clayana. So, you know, Clayana can't really come around the girls. So, Brittany has to meet her other places. So, Brittany is once again telling her how she just really doesn't think this group is for her. She can't come around them. Clayana is in the A man section. These two are out. So, Brooke is having a luncheon for the recipients. Um, of the scholarships from her daughter's foundation from the 20,000, 20 plus thousand dollars they raised. And she looked absolutely beautiful. She got up to speak and this is her son. I forgot his name, but she was very emotional. So I was glad to see him stand by his mother as she spoke about Kayla. She spoke about the foundation and um, she awarded the recipients. And I think this is, this is good I hate the reason why she's doing it, but you love to see people with their regular lives. And she's very human, you know what I'm saying? So I just pray for her heart because I know it's broken in millions of pieces. But this was a good thing that she did. And then they kind of had a farewell ceremony at the beach and they had flowers and petals that they put out. So this ceremony at the beach, she said this was not to say goodbye, but it was to honor her to... Uh, just continue to think about her and until they meet again. I really, really hurt for Brooke because this is so sad. But um, this was also very beautiful too. It's your girl Millie Chun. Talk to you later. Bye.